from your news leader. Jury selection now underway for a man charged with killing his wife and throwing her body into Lake Erie. Plus new details from what's being called the deadliest transportation accident in the United States in nearly a decade. And students at one local elementary school are becoming caretakers of the earth and making a positive impact. In high definition from your news leader, this is Jet 24 Action News at Noon. Good afternoon, I'm Elena LaQuatra. We are beginning this afternoon with the latest details from the deadly limo crash in upstate New York. 20 people killed. We're now learning more about those victims. ABC's Ariel Reshef has the latest. This morning, the NTSB investigating the country's deadliest transportation accident in nearly a decade. Eighteen people inside a limo killed when officials say it barreled through an intersection in upstate New York, plowing into a crowded restaurant parking lot, slamming into an empty SUV, striking and killing two bystanders before landing in a wooded area. In total, 20 people died. 20 fatalities is just horrific. I've been on the board for, for 12 years, and this is one of the biggest loss of lives that we've seen. Barbara Douglas tells ABC News her four nieces, Amy, Abigail, Mary, and Allison, were among the passengers riding in a 2001 stretch Ford excursion, similar to this one posted on the company's website when it crashed. I had four nieces. They're all dead. They were in there. No. One of the sisters, Amy, had just gotten married earlier this summer to her husband, Axel Steenberg. You have showed me what true love is. I dream of us growing old and traveling the world hand by hand. I love you always. Amy posting this selfie of her with her husband just three days before the accident, writing on Facebook, I just wanted to say, Axel Steenberg, I love you more than words can say. Their uncle says they're the ones who rented the limo to keep the group safe. The four sisters, part of a group on the way to a surprise party for the youngest 30th birthday. 26-year-old Amanda Hulse and her boyfriend Patrick Cushing were also among the victims. Axel's brother Rich was also in the limo. He leaves behind a 10-year-old daughter and 14-year-old stepson. His wife did not come along because she was not feeling well and stayed home. ABC News has also learned that newlyweds Aaron and Shane McGowan were among the victims. Aaron's aunt telling ABC she was a beautiful, sweet soul. He was too. They had everything going for them. That was Ariel Reshef reporting. Jury selection is now underway in the case of a man who allegedly killed his wife and then threw her body overboard into Lake Erie. Jackie Roberts is joining us live now from the courthouse with the latest information. Good afternoon, Jackie. Ellen, a jury selection began around 10 o'clock this morning. There's a pool larger than usual of around 150 people. The defense attorney says it could be difficult finding 12 people who haven't heard of the Christopher LeClaire case. The trial is set to begin for 49-year-old Christopher LeClaire. Investigators say he and his wife Karen LeClaire were on their boat last June when he allegedly threw her into Lake Erie. Her body was recovered near Dunkirk, Dunkirk New York on July 4th of 2017. She was tied to an anchor and suffered a gunshot wound to the head. The jury is expected to see photographs of Karen LeClaire's body, including pictures of that bullet wound, the defendant facing several charges, including criminal homicide. Prosecutors are seeking a first-degree murder conviction. Again, that jury selection began this morning, and we will be keeping you up to date on that whole process. Christopher LeClaire's father, Ernest LeClaire, was also set to go to trial this week, but we're told that's expected to be continued until the trial for his son wraps up. Elena? That's Jackie Roberts reporting live from the courthouse. Thank you, Jackie. A small plane makes an emergency landing in a field near Cory Sunday night. According to officials, the aircraft was attempting to make it to the Cory Airport, instead had to make an emergency landing in a field near the intersection of Crosscut and Scioto Roads. There were two people in the airplane at the time, but no reported injuries. A flatbed truck was used to dismantle and haul the aircraft out of the field. An investigation into the cause of that emergency landing is ongoing. A fiery crash along Route 5 in Dutch Road in Fairview sends two people to the hospital. The 911 calls coming in around 6 o'clock Saturday night for a rollover accident at that intersection. Two people were transported to the hospital. The accident under investigation by state police.
A man reported missing is now found after crews spent hours searching. Initial calls went out around 10 o'clock Sunday night for a search and rescue at Erie Bluff State Park in Lake City. Girard State Police in assistance with the DCNR, the Northwestern Canine Search and Rescue Team, and Lake City Police Department looking for this missing man. The man found early this morning in the park, he said to be unharmed and now reunited with his family. One man charged with robbery and crashing into a historic cannon will enter a plea in court today. Tanner Greer is one of the three men that caused a police chase after robbing a Verizon wireless store in Mill Creek. That chase ending when the defendant allegedly crashed into a cannon in Girard. A man charged with possession of a weapon will also enter his plea in court. Christopher Steele is charged with aggravated assault and reckless endangerment. Police say bullets from one car were aimed at another in the 500 block of East 23rd Street in March, those shots leading to a short car chase. U.S. congressional candidates Mike Kelly and Ron D. Nicola are debating live on Jet 24 this evening. Jet 24 Action News is your local election headquarters. Incumbent Republican Congressman Mike Kelly and Erie Democrat Ron D. Nicola will face off in their only debate in Northwest Pennsylvania. That debate is airing live right here on Jet 24 beginning at 7 o'clock. The debate will be held at Mercyhurst University's D'Angelo Performing Arts Center. It's co-sponsored by Jet24, Fox 66, YourErie.com, WQLN Public Media, the Manufacturer and Business Association, and Mercyhurst University. Sean Lafferty is serving as the moderator. And if you can't watch it on TV, the debate will be streamed live on our Facebook page after the broadcast ends at 8 o'clock. There will be a spin room discussion live on Facebook as well. You can stay up to date with everything this election season by heading over to our website, YourErie.com. Students at Joanna Cottle Elementary School are becoming caretakers of the earth. This story is happening in your schools. The school unveiling their new pollinator garden. The ribbon cutting was the result of a year-long project completed by the students and staff with assistance from the National Native Bee Program. Students also were involved in other fun activities like reading from the book The Lorax. Gives them a reason to feel proud, gives them some career experiences, whether it's with landscaping, horticulture, gardening, um, things they normally wouldn't be exposed to. The purpose of the garden is to attract native bees of all kinds in addition to other pollinators. Fall is officially here and families from across the region are enjoying what the season has to offer. Tara Braddock went to Port Farms to get an inside look at their fall festivities. Pumpkin patches, hay rides, and apples are all signature staples of the fall season. Many people of all ages, including 11-year-old Simon Puglies and his friends, were out enjoying these things at Port Farms on Sunday. The soccer, football, baseball thing over there. Simon and his friends were at Port Farms for a church outing, and they say they love coming back to the farm and playing with all the games. And Simon's parents, Steve and Stacy Pugley, say they even like spending time at Port Farms, especially since it gets the whole family active. Away from the screens and outside enjoying some fresh air and running around, definitely. The owner of Port Farms says she likes for kids to put down the technology and get outdoors and come to Port Farms and enjoy all of the activities they have to offer. Well, I remember when my kids were little, we forced them to go outside and again not play with uh, the Xboxes and things like that. So we're taking kids back to old school where you actually have to use some energy. Kelly Port says she wants to stress the importance of getting kids active and appreciating all of the local farms. Here we've had a lot of our friends being in the dairy farm. That industry has, um, it's slowly disappearing and it's sad to see. You're, you're either going to have to be a large corporation or a large farm or you're out of business and uh, that saddens us. Poor added that they tried to bring awareness about supporting local farms with their hats off to American Farmers Maze. Tierra Braddock, Jet 24 Action News. <laughs> It was an effort to have an open dialogue with the community and Mayor Joe Schember leading that discussion. This is news in your community. Mayor Schember speaking about developments in downtown Erie and the importance of faith. The mayor making the comments after attending Sunday services at the Cathedral of St. Paul. Schember saying the forum is a great way to just have a discussion on spiritual life and how it can build the downtown community. The mayor meeting with members of the church and talking to them about mutual interests and economic renewal. People are working together like never before. Instead of being opposed politically, for instance, Ben Waffle and I, Dan's a Republican, I'm a Democrat. But we said when I was first elected, we're going to work together. 
The cathedral is holding their next forum on October 14th with guest speakers from the Erie Downtown Development Corporation. And it was an interesting service at another, another local church on Sunday morning. Members of St. Mark's Episcopal Church brought in their pets for the annual Blessing of the Animals event. Cats, dogs, bunnies, even a bird were blessed by the priest of the church, Father Don Baxter. We bless animals because animals are so much a fabric of our lives. They enrich our lives. They love us unconditionally. Um, they, they bring us joy. And so we celebrate that joy once a year at the Blessing of the Animals. The Blessing of Animals takes place every year at St. Mark's, the week the church celebrates the Feast of St. Francis. The Mazzini Charitable Foundation honoring their Person of the Year during the 45th annual Columbus Day Dinner. And Donna Carlino of Erie received the prestigious award for her community service work in the area. Carlino is with Lakeshore Community Services, which is an organization that serves people in the community who have mental illnesses and intellectual disabilities. The Person of the Year award is given to an Italian-American who has done outstanding volunteer work. It's really an honor that you you accept on behalf of all the people in the community who do good work because in Erie it uh, takes a village to keep our community going. Past award recipients include Mayor Lou Tulio and Representative Flo Fabrizio. Picnic on a Park hosting a youth cross-country invitational called Race the Woods. More than 600 students from 15 schools taking part in that race. Organizers say this is a new league that started five years ago. The goal of the event is to get kids to be more active and love running. Funds raised at the race will sponsor the Fort LaBeouf cross-country teams. Coming up on Jet 24 Action News and Noon, CBS is donating $20 million to various organizations supporting the Me Too movement. We have the details right after Tom's forecast. Hi, Tom. Hey, Elena, sunshine greets us as we head on into the afternoon and a real taste of summer on this fall day. More details in the rest of the forecast after the break. From your news leader, you're watching Elena LaQuatra and meteorologist Tom DeVecchio. This is Jet 24 Action News at Noon. Closed captioning brought to you by Home Instead Senior Care. Heard on the job? Let our work comp attorneys help if you've been denied benefits, you're in danger of losing them, or it's time to consider settling your work comp claim for a lump sum of money. For a free consultation, call Edgar Snyder & Associates at 1-800-9-4-EDGAR. World-class heart care is closer than you think. My heart was failing. No one else could figure out what was wrong with me. And Cleveland Clinic is the one that saved my life. When you choose Cleveland Clinic, you'll get the nation's number one heart program 24 years in a row. Meeting the surgeon, understanding everything that was going to happen was a tremendous stress relief. You'll have a team specialized in the most complex heart cases with an unparalleled record of successful treatments and access to the most advanced heart technology. It's wonderful that Cleveland Clinic is on the cutting edge of all this. They're there to find the problem, and to fix it so that you have a quality of life again. If you or a loved one have a heart condition or need a second opinion, call us today, 833-217-2462. Hurt on the job? Do you have a scar on your head, face, or neck? You may be entitled to money. For a free consultation, call one 800 94 Edgar. Presbyterian Senior Care Network, making aging easier for you. You may know us as Elmwood Gardens, Manchester Commons, and Oakwood Heights, but we're also part of Presbyterian Senior Care Network, the region's largest aging services provider. For the last 90 years, Presbyterian Senior Care Network has been making aging easier for the lives of older Americans in Western Pennsylvania. Join us as we honor this journey and all of the countless moments that shape each of us. Presbyterian Senior Care Network, making aging easier for more than 90 years. Share the moments with us at srcare.org slash moments. From Jet 24, here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. 
Nice sunshine starting out the day. A lot of fog earlier this morning, and boy, it held tight uh, near the lake shore up until about mid-morning before it finally burned off, and we have some nice sunshine here. And, uh, you know, when I look at it now with more light, uh, I see a lot more color on the trees than uh, I originally anticipated. There's a lot of color here. We're not quite at peak. Uh, probably by the end of the week or within the next week, there will be a good time to check out the colors here, particularly the next several days because they're expecting a decent amount of sunshine. If you wait till the end of the week, uh, you're in for a rude awakening. On our new motor sky cam, though, we're seeing some nice, nice look and blue skies, and it is warm out there. Uh, so warm, we have uh, more trouble brewing here in the tropics. This is Hurricane Michael, just became a hurricane. Here is the anticipated path. It's expected to develop into a Cat 3 by the time it reaches landfall. Looks like a early to mid-morning on Wednesday. Now, check out the movement here. Uh, the play, I mean, not, not that Florida shouldn't be watching here, and of course, they'll get their share of rough weather, but uh, the remnants expected to go through the Carolinas, and if it's in like any other hurricane, it may dump several more inches of rainfall. Carolinas are still recovering from Florence. You know, things are not back to normal. There. So the last thing they need is another hurricane. Of course, we'll be watching that for you. Panhandle, uh, Florida, Tallahassee, Atlanta, uh, Columbia, South Carolina, possibly Raleigh, and uh, yeah, even New Bern that got hit so hard the last time. Could be some a lot more rain by the end of the week. Here locally, you kind of see the effect of the lake breeze here. It's 69 Niagara Pier, 68 in northeast, but 81 at Penn State Barron, mid to upper 70s, Summit McCain, Edinburgh 75, Corey 78. Uh, Ed, not sure about that 90 plus where you're at, uh, but I'll bet you well over 80. Uh, looking at temperatures near 80, Woodcock, Burrow, Sagertown, and Meadville, 79 in Pittsfield. Gary Seabrook had a lot of clouds just breaking for sun. He's a little cooler at 71. Here are the dew points. Boy, we're looking very summer like uh, what we've had here. Dew points in the low 70s. And if we had a little bit more unstable air, we'd be in for probably you know, some good storms. But the air is pretty stable. And uh, the winds here, uh, outside of a little bit of lake breeze for some of you, a good southerly flow, lots of sunshine. And uh, that stable air, though, with this high pressure, will keep uh, the, th the thunderstorms isolated for today and really the next couple of days. The high pressure is quite strong. You can see it move down and build here in the East Coast right on through Tuesday. So we'll have more of that southerly flow. This front stays well to the north and west even through Wednesday. Now by Thursday, we'll be watching the high slowly break down. This front comes in from the west and it'll bring in some uh, much cooler air as it moves through our region probably sometime early to mid-morning on Thursday. So your forecast here along the lakeshore, uh, partly sunny, warm and humid. Temperatures lake front, low 70s. Low 80s along the I-90 corridor. Farther inland, can't allow some pop-up storms in the heat of the afternoon as temperatures reach the lower 80s with partly sunny skies. And the same type of forecast in the Chautauqua Legany area. And partly cloudy for tonight. Mostly sunny, warm and humid for tomorrow. High temperatures in the mid 80s. And from your weather authority, uh, we will have another warm and humid day as we head on toward Wednesday. Temperatures in the low 80s. And then, oh, look at this. About 30 degree drop Friday into the weekend with some lake effect showers. You'd swear we never had those warm temps. And we'll have the latest updates in that forecast anytime. All you have to do is go to our website, yourerie.com. Those types of temperatures are when people get sick. Yes, when sick, they drop and rag. headaches, be ready for it. Yeah. Be ready for it, I guess. What more can you do? Coming up on Jet 24 Action News at noon, Ford is cutting jobs in an effort to reorganize and trim costs. Find out more after the break. I'm Ron DiNicola, and I approve this message. This is our Congressman Mike Kelly. He also sells cars. Congressman Kelly gave a special tax break to car dealers like himself. Think about that. Congressman Kelly is $10 million richer than when he got elected. Then Kelly gave himself a huge tax break. It's been called the Kelly kickback, and it's what's wrong with Washington. Congressman Kelly looks out for himself, not us. You've seen the Seifert's furniture truck from Mill Creek and Fairview to Edinburgh and Meadville. That's because your neighbors took the beautiful drive to Seifert's Furniture to save hundreds on quality, customizable furniture for their home. Our prices will surprise you. That similar furniture at other stores doesn't compare in price or quality. And at Seifert's, our prices are the best year-round. 
Make the right choice. Seifert's Furniture in Northeast in Conneaut Lake. Are you ready for some football? We sure are at El Dorado's Presque Isle Downs and Casino. And we're bringing you all your game day favorites with specials to match. Like Dollar Smith's Hot Dogs, $2 Pulled Pork Sandwiches, 50 Cent Wings, Rib Specials, and more. And don't miss Happy Hour with live entertainment and half-off drinks on Friday and Saturday, along with $5 appetizers on Fridays. Experience the game and great food only at El Dorado's Presque Isle Downs and Casino. Why do I get my flu shot at Giant Eagle Pharmacy every year? Because up to one in five people will suffer from the flu this season. And staying healthy is important to me and my family. Thanks, Mom. Because I'm not just a wife or a mom. I'm also a Giant Eagle pharmacist who cares for you and our community. Count on your neighborhood Giant Eagle pharmacist for your flu shot this season and earn $5 in free groceries. Giant Eagle Pharmacy, your trusted pharmacy for over 30 years. Time now to take a look at this afternoon's market numbers. At noon, the markets are all down. The Dow was in the red, down 163 points. The Nasdaq in negative territory, down 96 points. And the S&P 500 was down 17 points. Just in time for Halloween, the popular Netflix show Stranger Things is out with its own candy line. The creators made sure to include the show's storylines in the treats. There's a gummy version of Eleven's favorite food, waffles, and also gummy letters that look just like the ones Joyce Byers painted on her living room wall to communicate with Will. There's even a polywog gummy and a missing barb malted milk ball carton. For now, you can only buy the candy at its sugar stores. Ford says it will reduce its headcount as a part of a plan to give its business a shot in the arm. The company saying Friday it planned to reduce its global salaried workforce. The plan includes a labor reorganization designed to trim costs, but there's no word on how many jobs will be eliminated or when it may happen. CBS is donating $20 million to Me Too groups. The network has hired a consulting firm to disperse the funds. The money will be spread out to groups dedicated to supporting Me Too and promoting workplace safety and equality for women. This less than a month after the company parted ways with longtime CEO Les Moonves after multiple allegations of sexual misconduct. An announcement on the recipients of the funds is expected sometime in December. And Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay in Florida, celebrating its 60th anniversary with free beer next year. The theme park announcing two free beers for adult guests per visit for an entire year. Bush Gardens had a tradition of handing out free beer while it was owned by Anheuser-Busch. But the park ended the perk in 2009 after it was sold to the Blackstone Group. Coming up on Jet 24 Action News at noon, an exotic wood and intricate design gives this week's Made in America a special calling. We'll be right back. In 1911, the George Winston Company opened their doors. In those days, the cost of a pound of coffee at the general store was only 25 cents, and coal was the efficient choice of fuel. But by providing excellent services and fair prices over the years, George Winston continues to prevail. Today, natural gas is your most efficient energy choice. Natural gas heating offers quiet comfort and low operating cost. Contact the George Winston Company and upgrade to the quiet comfort and low operating cost of natural gas, your best energy value. The Plumbers on Plum Street. Why are we at Getgo? This is Getgo Cafe and Market. We're here for lunch. Thought you wanted something fresh. You gotta get to know Getgo. They're making amazing food fresh to order. Their chef's recipes are one of a kind. They've got real fruit smoothies, antibiotic free chicken. He has tots on his sub. I can have tots on my sub? You can customize anything. You told me this was good, but this food speaks for itself. You didn't believe me? Tots? Getgo Cafe and Market. Better believe it. Are you disabled? Physical and mental disabilities may entitle you to money from Social Security. It's the law. At Berger & Green, we understand that the last thing you need is more stress. With over 40 years of experience, Berger & Green can go after the money and medical care you need. The benefits you work for. Don't give up. There is no fee unless you get benefits. Trust the name you know. Berger & Green, the disability lawyers. 1-800-999-2626. Why choose J.J. Agnello Heating and Air Conditioning? For the same reason I choose Lennox products. 
Heating and cooling companies can buy any competitor's products from a distributor. But to get superior Lennox products, they have to meet the Lennox quality dealer standards. And it doesn't stop there. Lennox dealers are continually trained and tested to ensure the Lennox code of quality. J.J. Agnello Heating and Air Conditioning in Lennox have the same goal, the ultimate comfort for your home. Call J.J. Agnello today. Get up to $1,600 in rebates or special financing. This week's Made in America has a certain calling to it. We're off to North Bay Game Calls, where custom calls start from a block of wood and soon become a call of the wild. Every game call made here is Made in America, made right here. Steve Steffi knew he had a special calling. In fact, he had several calls. And that's what makes up North Bay Game Calls. Basically, I just wanted to make a duck call for myself. And that's how it all began back in 2006. Steffi did a lot of research, bought the tools, and a business was born. Ended up making turkey calls, predator calls, goose calls, just a variety of different calls, and people started wanting to buy them. These calls start out as planks of wood. Some of the wood is exotic wood. Once it's cut to size, Steffi drills holes for the sound chamber and the reed. Each call is unique. They're one at a time. There's no CNC machining. They're, everything's, everything's different. There's no call that's alike. The work of art continues as Steffi skillfully turns the wood until the shape is perfect. The call is waxed and buffed to a mirror-like finish. The beauty is evident. A lot of the calls, because they're so nice, they actually get handed down from generation to generation. They're not just something that you're going to throw in your vest and kick around the truck and lose in the backseat of your truck somewhere. And when it comes to Made in America... Made in America is important for our local economy, for our local hunters, for our local trappers, for, you know, everybody involved. Made in America! Made right here! Made in America, Made Right Here is presented by Channel Lock. To nominate a local business you'd like to see featured, click on the news tab at yourerie.com. An artist known for using the element of surprise to make a point pulls a shocking stunt at an auction in London. You don't want to miss this one. You deserve a car you love, along with a payment that won't drive you crazy. Keep your car, but trade your loan. Refinance your auto loan with Erie Federal Credit Union now through November 30th and save. Get a 1% rate reduction now. A 1% cash bonus later with no payments for 60 days. Do the math. A lower monthly payment and cash back later equals a happier you. Refi today and save. Stop into any of our nine convenient branch offices and get back what you deserve. ErieSEU.org. Every year about this time, our mailbox starts filling up. Me and my husband are suddenly the most popular people in the world. Over 65, we've got the perfect Medicare Advantage plan for you. But honestly, this is something we've spent a lot of time researching. We've done our homework, so we know exactly what to look for in a Medicare Advantage plan. Do you have a person I can talk to who can give me all the information I need in one single phone call? Do you have a network that includes all the great doctors and hospitals I want? Do you make it affordable for me to get the care and service I deserve? UPMC for Life delivers all that and more. Medicare enrollment begins October 15th. Call today for your free information with no obligation. Get your local news, weather, and sports on demand with a simple request. Alexa, play my flash briefing from Jet 24 Action News. Warm and humid, mainly dry, 70 in town, cooler away from the city and the lakeshore. Flash briefings on Alexa-enabled devices are brought to you by Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield, an insurance plan you can count on. Don't have an Alexa-enabled device? Enter to win one on the contest page at yourerie.com. The anonymous artist called Banksy is known for his stunts. And he may have just pulled off his most perfect art world prank. His work, Girl with Balloons, sold for $1.4 million Friday at Softbee's auction house. But moments after the gavel fell, that piece of art uh, reduced to shreds. And this is not the video, of course, of the auction yeah. house. This is actually one of the good kids I did. 
uh, a couple weeks ago. But That's <laughs> anyway, okay. it, this yeah. is a really cool story. We'll tell you the long story short. Mm -hmm. So his auction, his piece sold for $1.4 million. The gravel hit, and then the piece shredded. The frame was a shredder, so the piece self-destructed as soon as it was sold. Isn't that something? Crazy prank by this. Well, hopefully they'll put it in the shows later today so you can catch it. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, I mean, just an interesting, uh, I mean, so many, I mean, you have the story. I don't. Uh, I'm really curious as cool. to where this went, where this goes. Apparently it's going to be worth more now, though. Yes. Well, we're looking at some sunshine, warm through Wednesday. All comes at the end of the week. All righty. Have a fabulous day, everybody. Enjoy. Take care.